In this very short video, I'm going to talk about a responsive tool, a new responsive tool, apparently quite popular on Twitter while it's been in the development procedures, um, and it's called Sizzy.co, or Sizzy or Sizzy, however you want to pronounce it. Anyway, what you do is when you go to the website, um, you just put, I'm just going to put mine in, because my website has a problem, and when you, I've used these type of tools before, but the um, they never usually pick up these type of problems that I'm going to discuss. Anyway, I use this um, iPhone, uh, iPhone, uh, Windows Phone. I know nobody else does in the world, but I do, and I like them. Um, there, okay. So when you when you actually click on the menu on here, okay. If you can see that, you. So if you went to graphic design, which is one of the things you see there, the menu is still up, and what it really needs to go is automatically go down, where you've got to you've got to click the cross on there um, to get the menu down. Anyway, when you when you usually do these, um, uh, you know, when you use these tools, normally they don't actually let you have that all it is is about responsive design yes it it you know it zooms in and out where it's supposed to but anyway on this one um it actually does it really quite well i mean here's your zoom at the top right here and you just go in like that you've got your ipad air I, iphone 7 plus I, iphone 6 etc you've also got uh, various android ones galaxy s4 nexus um you've got your yeah, um, tablet and your Nexus 7 all this type of thing and you can zoom back in as well okay so this is all very well but what I was wanting to see because usually when I, I use these type of tools they have flaws in it anyway so when I did this and here you can see um, if you do this if you just click gallery again what it's supposed to do is is actually right because this is what the phone does so you have to knock this x off which is not really good practice and i know that that's i know i've got to change that i just haven't i haven't getting around to it anyway but i thought this is like a really good tool for responsive design and i think you know it's something that you know all of us all of us can really use um at times because sometimes you you really think you've nailed responsive design on a particular thing and then you find out that when you go to your device or in my case it would be uh, the Windows phone and then you see it and it absolutely looks rubbish okay um, so you've got to like sort of you know try and find something I think this is the best you know the best one I've seen it's got various tools here um, that's I think that's just all uh, landscape orientation um, yeah, so I mean, it's got the the main, uh, bra um, you know, main phones and tablets and what have you. But I mean, it's got a, a host of them there. It's got um, all, all the uh, all the main players, but it's actually got more because you can, you know, even though this, uh, even though Windows is is never mentioned, it still actually works in a, in a very good way. So anyway, I just thought I'd share that with you, um, you know. And so anyway, thanks a lot for watching.